school? I'm a school resource officer, so uh, primarily my job is obviously to keep uh, the students and the staff safe against any sort of threats that may come on the campus. Uh, I'm also here as a um, kind of a mentor, informal counselor. Sometimes I just help to help to speak with the students to give them advice. And obviously um, at times I have to enforce laws and, and, and unfortunately sometimes some of the younger folks make bad decisions and they have to you know, get in some trouble. So. Okay, so do you know why we have these badges? Yes, that's a the district policy now, and that what that does, especially not just for law enforcement, but for the school staff and, and even the students to be able to identify someone who maybe sh doesn't have permission or shouldn't be on campus. So I know it, it, it may seem like it's a big hassle, but it's actually uh, an effort to keep students and staff safe. And that way, if again, if you see someone that doesn't have either the, the sticky uh, visitor's pass or some sort of identification card like yours, then you need to let an adult know. Okay, so why is our school safety important? Well, it, it means it's just like outside of school. We, we don't want people to be injured or even worse, you know, in, re in the recent history, we've had some terrible things that happen at school. Um, we want to keep everybody safe. Okay, um, well, do you like your job? I love my job. Yeah. I, uh, I've been an SRO for five years. Uh, I've been a police officer for over ten. So I, before I came here, I worked, I started at New Beginnings High School, and then I was there for a year and a half, and then for the last three and a half, I was at Denison, and I was very lucky this year to get to come here. And so I'm here full time. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to ask you um, some personal questions. Sure. Do you have any children? Uh, my wife and I together combined we have four and they're all adults now. So uh, my youngest is 21 so they, they, they go they're five years apart and we have uh, one I have one daughter and a son and then I have two stepsons. Wow that's... Um, what do you like to do in your off time? I uh, love to cook actually. I love to cook. I like to ride my motorcycle, um, fish, hang out you know hang out by my pool. Uh, but again, love, love, love to cook. Do you have any pets? I have two chihuahuas, and they're like my babies. <laughs> oh, they're so, that's so cute. Okay, well, thanks for uh, letting us interview you You're today. welcome. Thank you for coming in. It's nice, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. Good morning, staff and students. This is Mr. Sears with another edition of Principal's Corner. Just have a few things to talk to you about from middle school. Hopefully everybody enjoyed their Labor Day weekend and their day off from school. Uh, one thing I want to highlight is uh, making sure that our middle school students always have on their ID badges and they must be worn around your neck if you have a lanyard. If you have a clip for your ID then you can clip it on your waist but you cannot put the lanyard around your waist and tie it on your belt loop. So please make sure that you're doing it. Once you've had two replacement IDs we'll be contacting your parent letting them know that you have incurred a $10 uh, debt because you did not bring your ID badge to school. In order for you to avoid it, remember, once the bell rings after school, you can take it off, put it in your backpack, therefore you'll have it for the next day, 
or you can even work out an arrangement with one of your teachers in which you leave it in the classroom and then you pick it up the next day. But that's uh, completely between you and the instructor. You are responsible for having your ID badge every day when here at school. We have our fundraiser going on through PTA. Remember, if you get to sell five items, you get to go to the Glow Party, as our anchors have been uh, advertising for it. That's also a great way for us to get cool stuff, uh, like our assemblies that we do, our different honor roll celebrations, our behavior celebrations that we have at school, and lots of things like our fall and spring movie night. So please support our PTA fundraiser because they spend all that money right back into the school to support the students. We're going to be starting a word of the week, uh, starting this week, and our word of the week is going to be magnanimous. So the first five people to come up and tell me the definition of magnanimous will get two Jagbucks. Also, the Jagbuck store uh, just opened for the first time this past Friday, so that means you know save up your Jagbucks if you see some things that you like, and also be on your best behavior so you can earn some Jagbucks. That's going to conclude this week's Principal's Corner. I'm going to see if I can make my shot. Have a great day, JSA. That's all for today, JSA.